got a record of 15 and 0. He's looking to go to 16 and 0 with another pretty tricky looking opponent tomorrow night, Jay Opatire. Um, they're struggling to get your opponents, but uh, this guy he's pretty keen to um, show that he can really match it with you. You can see up there on the scales, he, he was talking it up a little bit. Oh man, he, uh, I know he's backing himself and he's trained very hard for this fight, but um. You know, I'm pretty confident in my abilities. You know, if he wants to box, we can box. If he wants to brawl, you know, I'll, I'll brawl him as well. So Have you known much about Curtis Pegararo prior to him taking this fight? He's been around for a little while and obviously had a pretty good win in his most recent outing in China. Um, to be honest, man, he's never been on my radar, so I haven't really looked at him. But uh, he put, his name popped up for a fight like a while back, so we looked at him. And, you know, his style is real awkward and ugly, but, uh, you know, nothing we can't handle, so... Um, you've made a fair few statements in recent fights, including on these DDP shows here. Are you looking to go in and blow him out and keep the cruiserweight world on notice that you're a big puncher still? Um, you know, I feel I made my statement, you know, I, I can bang if I need a bang. But uh, it's just taking my time, man. The, the shot will come. Like I said, he's, he's got a real awkward style. So, you know, it's nothing you want to sort of rush into. It's just, just see how the fight plans out. Now, after this fight, it looked like you were going to be going up against Mark Flanagan. I know he's a man you've been chasing for quite a while, and he was keen to do the fight, but it appears that he's got another opportunity internationally. Are you disappointed that that fight won't be coming up immediately? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely disappointed, man, because, you know, there's, all I want to do is, uh, you know, get my whole home behind me, and that's Australia. So, you know, I want that, and I want to prove I'm the best. But, um, you know, it's at that stage, man. After this fight, I'm going to blow straight past him, you know. He's... he's He's going to be past past me, you know. He'll be challenging me, so you know I just take every step as it comes, and you know we, we plan bigger bigger things. There's been plenty of talk about perhaps going to the UK for a fight. Is that something that interests you? Um, yeah, man, definitely. The UK is uh, where it's at at the moment. It's massive for the boxing, and you know just those international fights is uh, is, is a big part of a career and making it you know a lot of exposure. Are there any um, particular names right around the top of the cruiserweight division that interest you at the moment? Obviously, we've seen the World Boxing Super Series. We've seen uh, a, a lot of exciting cruiserweight bouts internationally. Anything that you've had your eye on? To be honest, man, I, I don't um, know too many names and uh, I, don't, I don't watch them too much, man. All we do is just focus on our own camp. We make sure we train hard and, you know, sparring's good. And, you know, whoever they put in the ring with us, man, we make sure we demolish them, so... You've been doing a lot of sparring with Willis Meehan as well, I believe. That would be some tough sparring. Yeah, man. Uh, Willis Meehan, he's a big boy and he's got some fast hands. So, you know, sparring with him and, you know, that, that sort of sparring just keeps me, you know, right on my toes. So, yeah, it's awesome. All right, first and foremost, though, it is tomorrow night against Curtis Pegararo. Give us your prediction for how this goes down. Uh, like I said, man, uh, I'm just going to go in the ring, you know, stay calm and just do my thing, you know. I just adapt with styles and that's, that's what I do best. So, yeah. Okay, Joe, good luck.